well, it's been a little while since I did a video. So, I found something. Just kind of popped into my head. Figured I'd record it. So, what I'll be doing today is giving my first impressions on Stoker's Wintergreen Long Cut. I went to the store the other night, couldn't find what I wanted. So, ended up picking this up. Now, my daily dip for the last year or so, however long it's been out, has been the Grizzly Wintergreen Long Cut Dark Series. They used to call it Dark Select. I still call it Dark Select. Whatever. Anyway, as you can see, an open can. Seal is still good. So, I'll crack into this. So, how y'all doing with this fucking COVID-19 bullshit? Roger. At least I'm still working. Thank God. Although I do get to deal with a lot of idiots. If you didn't know, AAA customers a lot of the times are retarded. Perfect example today. Girl calls for a lockout. I go there. One door was locked. The other three were open. But, you know, she went to college. She's smart. I didn't go to college, barely graduated. I do manual, manual labor for work, do roadside assistance. I'm apparently the idiot. Oh, y'all tell me. Alrighty. I've never had any Stoker's products before. Just didn't get the seal. That's fine. I like that it says 100% American tobacco on here. That's why I like the Grizzly Dark Select series. Or the Dark Fired, whatever you want to call it. Grizzly Dark. It's 100% American tobacco. Supposedly. Ooh, this, this looks really juicy. It's not quite the juiciest looking tobacco I've ever seen. I don't know if I can get a picture for y'all or some video. But uh, I don't know, it's pretty moist. Definitely looks juicier than the Grizzly. So, but I've had Outlaw Bourbon and I believe that was the only one I got to try before they were non-tobacco product. And that was the juiciest stuff I've ever had in my life. That was the best dip I've ever tried. Let's see how we get on the pinchability here. Go in here and get a fatty. Oh, look at how well that pinches. That's, I mean, that's a fucking pinch, y'all. That's really good. I have mud jugs. Do not give me shit. They're at home. I'm at work. Bottles work for me because I can put them in my pocket. It's not a super strong wintergreen flavor, but you can tell it's there. It's a good wintergreen flavor. It's a it's a very sweet dip. I don't think I've ever been able to say that before, but this is a sweet dip. Stokers, 
you have just won me over. I have a log of this coming in the mail. When that is gone, this is my new dip. Which is good because I live in Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. This, depending on where you go, if they even have it, because most stores only carry a couple of basic ones because not a lot of people around here dip. Usually this is about ten fifty. The three stores I've seen this at, it's under eight dollars after tax. What's crazy is skulls is like twelve, thirteen dollars a can around here. I don't get it. Well, six minutes long, I think it's time to end this. I don't edit. I use my phone. Fuck it. Later.